Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 1225, Monday, February the 12th, and this video is special. Let's go to Faction Trial. Smash that subscribe button on the way. Infernal 12 is tough. It was the last one that I beat. It's the last one that a lot of people beat. You got to have big nukes on the boss. The boss has shields. He regenerates. He revives people. It's hard for sure. Um, I have step-by-step -step walkthroughs on how to do it with different champs. I'll link to those in the pinned comments below if you're interested. This one, I managed to beat it. Perfect three-star. No power of dominance. No one dying. No one getting to the soul core without Cetrum. I am 99% sure that this is a world's first. I haven't heard of it done before. I haven't seen it done before. If you have, by all means, let me know in the comments. I don't want to steal someone else's thunder. Um, but I don't think it's been done yet. So here's the team. Fairly gear intensive, 800k BP. And I'll show that at the end. Uh, I'll check that out. Uh, I will... I'll, I'll show the gear on the back end. Sorry, I got distracted by the message. Uh, if anyone is interested, some people are, some people aren't, so I'll show it afterwards. Nocturne goes down first. That is the only place on the board where Nocturne can hit the boss. It's kind of frustrating and kind of limiting. This damage that he's doing doesn't really matter because the boss is going to put up a shield. I'm not going to nuke it down, and then he's just going to regenerate this health anyways. Zilla 2 is going to go next. Zilla 2 is going to go facing north so that she can take care of that top right mob. Dolores is next. Dolores is in Keen Wisdom and Invigoration for extra attack for herself and Zilla 2. I'm holding off on ult, so I'm not using them yet. Twin Fiend is next. Twin Fiend is going to go diagonal to Dolores, where Cetrum normally is, but he's going to face north so that he can actually hit those monsters to regenerate some rage really quickly. And even though the boss isn't in his normal range, he is in his ult range, so I can still nuke him with him there. Next up is going to be Autumn. Autumn is in Tumultuous Horn so that she can ult right away and Invigoration. And then I nuke with everyone. So she's giving she gave the extra attack from Invigoration to Nocturne and extra crit damage from her ult. Everyone ults at the same time with everyone's ults active, all of the stat boosts and buffs. That does a big nuke. We get the boss down to below 50%. And then Nocturne can take care of the... Um, Nocturne can take care of the... Um, the, the boss's shield, sorry. I get Soleil down in Dolores range. Between the last Twin Fiend ult and the next one, I need to get two DPS champs on the board in order for Twin Fiend's nuke to be big enough in order to um, take care of the boss's shield. So I got Soleil down for one. Now I'm going to get Hex down for the other, and then I ult with Twin Fiend to take care of the boss. Once this nuke is over and the shield is taken care of, I'm going to ult with Soleil even though she can't hit anything yet. I'm going to nuke with Hex even though we can't hit anything yet, because I want them to start regenerating that for the next round. I'm going to hold off on Dolores, though, because I need her inspiration to be in effect when Twin Fiend, when Twin Fiend ults next time um, on the boss. So I'm going to wait on hers. Place Titus down. Ult with Dolores, and then ult with Twin Fiend and Nocturne. There we go. Boss is dead. Let's get them gone. Let's get Ajax on the board. Autumn is down. We're going to put Scorch down for just a second. He's going to do a tiny bit of damage, not a ton, but he's there just to pause the monsters um, so that when they try to attack, they'll stop. They'll try to attack. I'll pull him so he doesn't die, and that gives me an extra second to do a little bit of damage. I'm going to use Zilla 2's ult on the top right. Tried to attack Scorch. I pulled him. Use everyone's ults. This is hard to see. I don't want Zilla 2 to get hit.
There we go. I pull her. Use Dolores. All right. Everyone's still alive. I didn't need to use Dolores there. I got I got caught up in the moment. That's okay. Let's get Nocturne on the board. Twin Fiend. We'll use Hex's ult. We'll use Twin Fiend's ult. And then while those two are ulting, everyone else's stuff is building. That hits everyone. Titus already used his unyielding, so I don't want him to get hit again and die. So right there, the monster is reaching back to attack him. I'm going to pull Titus. And there we go. We did it. No one died. No one made it to the Soul Core. No Cetrum. Pretty sure that's a world's first. I am so excited about this. Um, man. Let's go to the gear if you're interested. If you're not interested, thank you for your time. Uh, support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Join the Discord server. It's a ton of fun. If you are interested, let's check out the gear. Let's go to our heroes. Let's go to Infernal. All right. So I moved around a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, these folks normally wouldn't have. So here is Ajax. We've got Ageless Wrath. 17 6K attack. Um... Not a whole lot of attack speed, almost crit capped, 316 crit damage, so I wanted high attack with him and boosting some crit damage with Ageless Wrath. Not my normal Zilla 2 set, but I put my normal Zilla 2 set um, on someone else, right? So um, we have 15-7 attack, 1.4 interval, 405 attack speed, crit cap, 300 crit damage. Hex, we have 12-4. 375 attack speed, crit cap, 358 crit damage. He's got Spirit Siphon, not maxed. Wailing Skull, Dragon Bane. Twin Fiend has Spellcaster's Echo in Soulbound Arcana. 12-3, 381 attack speed, uh, crit cap, 375 crit damage. Nocturne, the star of the show. We have 15-8 attack. 386 attack speed, crit cap 378 crit damage in a max tier of twilight. Didn't need to use, uh, oh yeah, I did. I used, so Scorch was just doing a tiny bit of damage, right? He was there mostly just to save a second, but he is in some DPS gear just for the little bit he's going to do. 15-4, 331 attack speed, 234 crit damage. So Leal is an animal. She helps out a ton. Build her if you haven't built her for Infernal 12. 11 7 attack, 339 attack speed, crit cap 363. Oh no, what the heck? Oh man. Of course, I would get a notification as soon as I'm pressing to exit something. It is what it is. Titus, we have 89k health, 5600 defense, 250 attack speed. Dolores, which Dolores are we using? This Dolores. So we're in Invigoration, 12-7 attack. That's all that matters. 15% rage regen. And then Autumn. <laughs> I took off one of her Invigoration pieces. So she wasn't even giving Nocturne that 10%. Wow. That would have made my life much easier. I can't believe I took that off and didn't notice. She should have been in a full invigoration set. Um, but the most important thing was the tumultuous horn. Oh, that would have made my life easier. Oh, well. Everyone makes mistakes. But that was it. That was the run. World's first. Infernal 12. No Cetrum. Thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will see you in May.